before Alicia she's out. <clears throat> Stop! Listen! Wait and see. I wasn't doing anything wrong. Why did you try to run away then? Oh, I'll help you with that. So will I. How kind of you. It is a bit heavy to carry, you know. I think I remember your name. Is it Alicia? Yes, it is. I'm so glad you remembered it. My name is Lumen. And I'm Little Mai. What are you doing here in the Forest of Witches? Well, to be perfectly honest, we came because we were rather worried about you. Worried about me? Why's that? Is that, is that old woman really your grandmother? Of course. You're quite sure? Yes, of course. She's my mother's mother. Why do you ask? Well, don't, don't you know? He's trying to ask, ask what? if maybe your grandmother is a witch. Yes, she is. What? Of course. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was a bit taken aback. You don't mind about your grandmother being a real witch? Oh, no. That's what she is. Always has been. I'm going to be one, too, when I'm grown up. Oh, no, you couldn't. Why, you don't look anything like one. Well, that's because I'm not one yet. When you're born into a witch family, that's what you become. But it's not that easy, you know. Oh, this is too much. Now tell me, what are you doing here in the forest of witches? You don't sound like a witch. Oh, really? What do witches sound like? Well, to be honest, you're the first one I've ever met in my whole life. I'm sure that's just what you think, young man. Is it true that the nice girl is really your granddaughter? Certainly. A very promising young girl. Honest and hardworking, and with a lot of training, she will make an excellent witch someday. But how can you possibly turn such a sweet girl into a witch? The sweetest girls make the best witches. Hello, didn't know you were back, Grandma. Thank you for getting the water, Alicia. Oh, who is that? I don't know. Some naive young man out to rescue a damsel in distress, no doubt. I remember you. You're Snufkin. Yes. Your friend Snufkin's in here. Why don't you come in, too? In the house? Really? He's brought friends with him, has he? <gasps> Snufkin! Whatever have they done to you? I'll take care of that. Wait a second. I'll do it for you. I'll fix it. <laughs> I'm gonna need you again. Where are you going? I don't think that snake ever got bitten before. I'll get another. I'm very curious. Why are you three here, huh? They came all the way from Moomin Valley because they were really worried about me, Grandma. Worried about you? Yes, they thought you might be nasty to me, so they came all this way to see if I needed help. This always happens. People treat witches as if they weren't ordinary, respectable, responsible citizens. No, no, we're very sorry. We realize she's quite okay, and she's most welcome to visit us in Moomin Valley at any time, isn't she, Snufkin? Yes, certainly. What? You said you'd visit these people? Oh, yes. I thought I'd go over there sometimes after I finish with my homework, of course. I would never leave my studies half done. Sorry, Alicia, but if you ever want to become a good witch, you mustn't see any ordinary mortals. Oh, why not? I've only just become friends with them, Grandma, please. I know. Why don't I wait a year and study to be a witch next year? Alicia. This is family business, so if you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you were to leave. And I'd like you to go immediately, if you please. It's snowing. Well, she certainly won't be able to visit us if Moomin Valley is buried in snow, so we might never see her again. No, that's right. And you'll be leaving soon, won't you, Snufkin? Winter had come once again to Moomin Valley.